Here's a short demonstration of how to do a layout using Photoshop as a tool. This is scanned at 300 dpi grayscale. I'm going to switch on the rulers in the view menu. Then the image menu, adjustment levels. Adjust the arrow on the right hand side, this should uh, lose the back, some of the background texture. You can play about with these arrows. Next, duplicate the background layer. So now on the layer palette on the right hand side, you've got two levels. Select the bottom level and fill it with white. Select the top layer and using the magic wand tool, click in the white background. Then on the select menu, click similar. This will select all the white area of paper. You can then delete this with the backspace key or clear it on the menu. Choose edit, deselect. You'll now find that if you switch off the background layer, uh, you'll see your lettering floating on a transparent layer. So now make a new file the size of your finished piece of work. And then make sure both documents are visible. You can then drag the top layer, which is your lettering, onto your new canvas. You can now close the original document, don't save it, you don't need it anymore. Now open up your canvas, let's fill the screen, and on the Edit Transform Scale menu, resize your lettering. If you hold the shift key down while you're doing this, your lettering will remain in proportion. Zoom in a little. Using the eraser you can start to clean up some of the lettering. If you now select the second tool down on the left hand side, that's a freehand uh, selection tool, draw around anything you want to move and use the arrow keys on the keyboard to nudge, nudge things sideways. I'm sw switching between two tools here, outlining certain letters and then moving them up. When you're finished, you can deselect on the select menu. If you select the arrow tool, you can drag guidelines off the rulers, which are very useful for lining up your lettering. These won't print. If your lettering isn't straight, choose Edit, Transform, Rotate, and turn the lettering so it's horizontal. Complete this action, plus the return key. Mine's OK here, so I uh, didn't save that. If you choose the background layer and drag a vertical guideline, and switch on the Snap tool in the View menu, you can drag a guide that will snap to the centre of your page. Very useful for central layouts. I've now drawn a uh, marquee around the Honorary Life President and choose Layer, New, Layer via Cut. That will cut that particular lettering onto a new layer. You've seen it pop up there on the right hand side in the layer menu. So that's now sitting independently on its own layer. Now I've selected the text on the middle layer and using the eraser, I'm just going to remove that uh, mistake I made there in the first few letters of service. Take those out wasn't happy with those letters. So now I'm going to go in and um, cut that first line of text onto a new layer using the, the free marquee tool again. 
we'll draw around that first phrase. And again, choose layer, layer, new via cut. This puts that layer, that lettering onto a new layer, so you can work on it. I'm now drawn around the word service, and to move this so that it doesn't move out of um, vertical, hold the shift key down. You've got to watch which layers you're using. So I'm going to make a classic mistake here. I'm going to try and move the word dedication, but I'm on the wrong layer, so it won't let me. So I've got to change layers so that I can move that word. Again, I'm adjusting using the arrow keys on the keyboard. Fine adjustment. Deselect that, we can move it up. And check the, still check the horizontal on the guide. So now using the, the free marquee tool, I'm going to cut that onto a new layer as well. Layer, new, layer via cut. And there it pops up in the layer menu. Switch the others off if you get confused. So let's move these around a little bit. And as long as the snap tool switched on, this text will snap automatically to the center line. Very useful. We can now start to arrange, arrange the lines of text. I'm selecting the top of the layers, top of the two layers there, and layer merge down. That puts them both onto one layer. I'm switching it on and off there so you can see that. Let's move the third line of text down. And again, using the free freehand marquee tool, draw around the third line of text and layer, new, layer via cut. Puts that on a new layer. So we can arrange it. Play about with the interlinear spacing. And here's an interest, interesting tool, very useful, using the, the layers, sorry, the guides. You can set your X height and then using the square marquee tool, which will snap to those guides, you can move that selected box and then drag new guides, which will snap to that marquee. You can repeat this, including the interlinear spacing, which will help you create your uh, equal guidelines. Deselect. Just going to nudge that top layer a little bit using the arrow keys. 